Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a video all about Virginia Tech's interior design program. They're not affiliated with any of these questions or this video at all. I am a recent, as of in a few days, I will be a graduate of their program and I just wanted to put this video out here because I have gotten a lot of questions on the program in general and specifically questions that I can definitely answer for you because I went through their program. I transferred into the program my sophomore year. I actually did their summer program at the end of my freshman year and then I transferred in as a second year. So when you transfer you can either become a first year or second year and I just finished up my senior year. So that is my background. I just wanted to share a little bit about me so you know that these questions are truthful and um, I do have knowledge about the program. So I wrote down all the questions that you guys have asked me over on Instagram through YouTube comments and all of that and I also just added in a few questions that I know that I wanted to ask. Leave any comments or questions down below if you have anything else. I can definitely make a part two to this video. So let's get into it. Make sure to subscribe. I also have another video specifically talking about the program more on like how it's set up and everything. I'm gonna go into a little bit of that in this but it's more of a Q&A style in this video so I will link that one down below and I also make other college videos. So let's get into it. I'm going to be splitting up this video into a few sections. I'm gonna start off with internships then first year pinups classes and then other questions that kind of didn't really fit into a category but i still want to answer that so let's dive into internships internships is a big one because obviously when you're looking at a program you're looking to get an internship be connected with future employers future companies that are going to hire you and then in turn graduate and get a job so first question about internships is is there opportunity for internships how do i get them to answer your question simply yes 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 there are definitely opportunities for internships and I would say even more than a lot of programs because what we do is on every Friday we have ideas meetings which stands for interior designers for education and sustainability and basically that is a joint student chapter of IIDA which is the International Interior Design Association and ASID American Society of Interior Designers. You're gonna get to know those two groups. Basically, we're a student joint chapter of both, and every Friday we have people come in from all over the interior design world. So we have furniture reps come in, talk about new furniture, new brands they've acquired, and then we also have firms, big, small, medium, come in and talk about their firm, their firm culture. They're always, always, always offering internships to us. So easy to connect with them, grab their card, email them, reach out to them. They're all looking to pull all the Virginia Tech interior design students in because they know our program, they know how we're ranked, and they love our work. They are always constantly looking to hire us for internships and then of course at your fourth year they're looking to hire you. The great thing about ideas is it really brings everyone in from that design world and connects you with them so you always have an opportunity every Friday to meet new people. We also have people coming to our pinups and just lots of great connections coming into the program as well as alumni that have graduated whether it's students that are working at a firm or even older students who have graduated and started their own firms. Everyone is coming back. One thing that's really great about Virginia Tech in general is the alumni system and that does not fail in the interior design program because you're definitely seeing people coming back and wanting people that are currently in the program to be hired or have internships. That's a great way for internships. Another thing is every year we have a career fair where you put your work into a portfolio, you create your own resume, professors will will kind of gear this towards their class at that point and help you kind of create it. You basically take all of your work, go to career fair and display it and that way you will get internships or jobs and you can kind of meet face to face with the firm, get to know them, get to know their company culture, see kind of what you want as a designer and as a person and what you like. Third one is kind of just like our reputation. Like I said before, people just come to our program because they know how we work and there's a lot of firms out there, big firms, smaller firms that just really love Virginia Tech and the, the work that we do. A lot of firms have hokey grads so they, like I said, go back, alumni come back and just want to snatch us up so um, that's really fortunate for us and those are big ways that we get internships so every Friday career fair and a reputation we just have really strong connections with the outside interior design world which is so important because obviously when you're going to college you want those connections and you want to graduate with a job how do you know that you want to be in a big 
or small firm. This depends on you. It's all about you. I can't tell you whether or not you belong in a big or small firm. I actually had an internship with all sizes. I've had one with a smaller, really small, like two person residential studio. I had a medium sized internship, about like 100 and, 110 maybe. And then a large, the largest architecture firm in the world, which their office was only about 130, 40 people. But the combination of all their offices is about 4,000 people. So all different sizes I had. And I would actually give you the advice to take internships to learn what you like. I knew that I wanted to really try out all of them just so I figured out what I liked. Me personally, I wanted to be at a bigger firm. It's almost kind of like how I felt going from a smaller school to a larger school. I kind of like that larger environment. Like you kind of create that smaller environment within the larger environment, but you still have the opportunity to have that large environment of people and you're always meeting new people. So that's kind of, it's, it's all up to you. You really have to gauge it on, on what you like. What did you do? At your internship so it is going to vary between different sizes of firms at the smallest firm that i was at which i wouldn't really call it a firm more of just a studio i was working hands-on with the owner doing residential work really getting to meet the clients face to face every time there was a new project going to site visits and then the medium sized firm i went on like one to two site visits larger firm i went on like four to five site visits it also depends on their intern program if it's a really structured intern program you might have certain things that you're not going to get at one that doesn't have structure in their program so to, to actually answer the question which i'm not exactly doing i guess there's a lot you can say about this is you could be working on anything from building material palettes uh, working on the computer in computer programs working face to face with clients you're probably just going to be in on client meetings you're not necessarily going to be speaking with the client there's a big range big range of things you could do some internships might be a little bit boring some internships might be crazy lots of work so there really is just a different experience for every internship the whole goal of an internship at least how i see it is to find out what you like so you know what you want when it comes time to pick out what firms you want to apply to to get an actual job in the real world so that's kind of what you're looking at if you have a boring or bad internship experience it's just a way for you to learn and take that with you forward and, and figure out what you want in a job and the last question was about site visits which i kind of just answered but site visits if you didn't know basically you go to the sites of where your projects are and you check out where the progress is on that project depending on what stage it's in yes you go on site visits but it depends on the firm you're at smaller firms are more hands-on so you may go to more site visits but larger firms also might be able to have the means to get you to those site visits so really like i said it depends internships can really vary but hopefully that answers most of your questions on that like i said if you have any more you can leave them down below and i'll be sure to answer them okay next is about first year so first year is one of those topics that i feel like everyone has questions about when they're going into the interior design program the way virginia tech does it you are with all the other majors under the college of architecture program so that would be you're with obviously anyone who's majoring in interior design landscape design which is a really smaller small portion industrial design and then you have the architecture students so you're going to be mixed in with all of them to go into the next question asking what is it like and what did you learn or what do you learn so just because you're with all those majors does not mean you have to learn all of those majors you are going for interior design just like the guy next to you might be going for architecture but you're not going to be learning each other's majors first year is a basic foundation year it is teaching you foundational key elements of art so that you guys all learn how to think about art you guys all have to have that like creative mind to move up to the next year so they're teaching you how to think they're teaching you about art different things that can be applied to every major so you're not learning about architecture but you might be learning about form which helps you in interior design helps you in industrial design landscape design and architecture when i actually went for my virginia tech tour one of the second years had said something about how first year is boring and you lose touch of interior design and you definitely are not connected to interior design. It's a great way to kind of train your mind on how to think and um, like the basis of art, which you need to kind of propel forward into the next few years of interior design. So it'll be okay. First year is a good kind of foundation for you to 
start at. Next question is what ways can I stay connected to the interior design program? So I actually added this question in because it's something that is hard when you are a first year. So you're going to be with other majors. You might not even be with a lot of interior design majors. You might be with two other interior designers and the rest are architecture, landscape, industrial. So you're not going to feel too connected to the program. So I added this in because I want to share ways that you can stay connected to the interior design program. One way is to attend those ideas meetings that I had mentioned in the beginning. You want to go every Friday and at least listen to the speaker Maybe you're not ready to kind of go up to the speaker get their card and you know email them and stay connected with them I do suggest that but you might not be ready for that, which is totally understandable. You're a freshman. You just got to college You're like not ready to think about internships or whatever but definitely go to those meetings it'll open your eyes to what's going on in the, the interior design major i graduated 2020 it is the year 2020 but if you're watching this and it's a later year they might have already moved the interior design program to another building right now we have the architecture building and then the interior design building is in Burris, you are really not in the same area and not connected. It helps every Friday to go to those meetings. It might be hard because you have your studio from around like 8 to 12 and Ideas is from 12 to 1, but still go. It's just put in that extra hour. You're going to have to put in that extra hour your second, third, and fourth years when you have to go to the Ideas meeting, so might as well start early. Make those connections, at least kind of open your eyes. It helps you stay connected to the interior designer world and like what we're thinking about because in foundations you're not thinking about materials furniture um, you're not thinking about any of that so being able to stay in ideas and think about that and connect to that on Friday will help you kind of stay connected and then there's also when I was in the program they had a like mentor program you were in third year or fourth year you could choose to be a mentor and then pick a younger either first year or second year to mentor which is a great program so if you go to ideas you can get mentored by an older student. So definitely suggest doing that. That will also help you stay connected to the program. Next is pinup. So first question is what is a pinup like? Pinups are when you take your work from wherever you are in your project, you pin it up on a certain day that is given by the professor. You present your work, you present what you're working on to your students, and depending on what year you are, sometimes students give feedback, and as you get older, business professionals will come in from the outside world, as well as your professor will give you feedback. Regardless of whoever's giving you feedback, you're getting feedback on your work critique, and so you can kind of go back to your project and tweak it and make it better than what it was before. And then the next question is how many do you have per project so the professor of your studio and you get two professors will send out that schedule that you have for that semester they will plan out what days that you have a pinup you have anywhere from like two to maybe four pinups every project that you have you might have a project when you just start out on concept then you'll have a pinup on 25% then you're 50% maybe 75 and then possibly 100 but it really depends on like the professor's preference and also what year you're in it's a really great way to kind of like hear what other people think and it's kind of hard like when you're sitting at your desk and working on your project if you don't get that critique it's hard to like step back and remove yourself from the project because you've worked on it for so long and be able to give yourself critique so it's nice to hear from like other people's opinions and another thing that's nice is as you get into your third and fourth year um, like I said before business professionals people that are in the interior design world will come into your pinups and actually critique your work which is so awesome it's also an opportunity for them to see your work if they like your work potentially talk to you about an internship next section of questions is about classes so first question is what is the class size i know my class size was around like 20 mid 20s as the years go on people will drop the program it is a lot of work so if you are not passionate about interior design or don't want to do the work you might end up leaving the program but yeah so class size is around that but the year before me actually went up to about 40-ish, high 30s. So the chair of the program had to order more desks to fit those people. So we're definitely growing. Class sizes will vary. But for the most part, it's it's pretty intimate. You're not going to have any lecture classes within studio. Your studio class is never going to be a lecture class. It's always going to be pretty small. Next question is how many professors teach studio? So I actually answered that before, but two professors teach each studio year and then for senior year my senior year um, Lisa who is the chair of interior design program at Virginia Tech taught our year so she basically 
took on two classes but when you have two professors they basically take two groups two classes and put them together which is one class so really they're only teaching one class with two professors um, so you can kind of go to whoever professor you prefer or um, both next question is is there a place for my belongings so one thing that i really loved about the interior design program at virginia tech was they do have a place for your belongings you get your own desk which is freaking awesome when i was at high point university i don't know if they still do this now but you had to bring your belongings back and forth and back and forth from your dorm which was like a pain in the butt but virginia tech has your own desks you actually they make you get trunks in the first year and then you have that trunk throughout the rest of the year and you just kind of keep your belongings in there you don't really have to lock anything nobody steals anything it's just kind of known it might happen on occasion but for the most part nobody really steals anything so you get your own desk which is really awesome you don't have to lug anything back and forth unless you decide to work at home which isn't really recommended but people do it anyway so really love that about the studio and then the next question is tools that you might need so if you're watching this you probably don't know about mishmish but that was the old art store that we had at least i had for like two years being at virginia tech they actually went out of business they gave us basically a list of things that we needed for first year mishmish had set up a whole kit that we could just buy honestly it was nice it was convenient but a lot of the stuff i didn't even use my first year i feel like for my preference and if you're kind of trying to save money i would really only buy things that you need when you need it like a lot of professors will recommend books that you never actually end up using but as for specific tools i really don't know i would say the things that i use the most were trace paper for sure and a sketchbook so I would say those are your top two things, but obviously there's more things you're gonna need. You're gonna need pencils, markers, all of that. And it also comes down to kind of like what you prefer. So there might be certain pens that you prefer um, to use over others. Okay, last section is the other section. So I have three questions that I kind of just like wanted to answer. First question is what type of laptop should I get? This is a question that is probably asked so many times. I know I asked it a lot every school I went to to check out their interior design program. For Virginia Tech, we use different programs. The program that we use the most is Revit. Revit runs on Windows. You can do it on a Mac, but you have to partition your hard drive, meaning you have to split your hard drive in half and you'd have a Mac side and a Windows side. So the Windows side would run Revit and then the Mac side, you might have your Photoshop, InDesign, all the Adobe Creative Cloud products. You have to go back and forth so it's not like the most convenient thing so if you're looking to buy a laptop before you go to the program I definitely recommend a Windows computer another program that they use or that people use is called Enscape and it's a rendering program that also runs on Windows I think it only runs on Windows and you also need a certain processor so if you're gonna get a Windows computer make sure it has a high enough processor to run that program because if it doesn't it won't run that program and you won't be able to use it so you can actually go onto the Enscape website and check out the processors it might actually change as they develop the program so I'm not actually gonna put that information in here just go to their website and check that out for yourself but definitely recommend a Windows if you already have a Mac and you have enough storage to partition your hard drive you definitely can do that it's just not like the best or like most efficient way um so i would recommend a windows and i actually went into the program having a mac used it up until my second year and then my third and fourth year i had to buy a new computer for revit and enscape and the other programs but it ended up working out for the best because i actually use it for everything else that i have to do graphic wise next question is did you pull all-nighters so to answer that question i think i pulled like three all-nighters if you have good time management skills you won't be pulling all-nighters sometimes it happens sometimes you know the creative process doesn't just end you might see something and be like oh like i want to keep going i want to keep going i want to keep going and then you end up pulling an all-nighter because you need to finish creating your um project but i really didn't pull that many but there are people out there that pull a lot because they like to or because they have to but it depends last question which i think is actually a really good question can you major in other subjects i know when i looked at other schools that was a question of mine i would say i do know some people who have done it so it is possible if you really 
get overwhelmed easily or want to kind of focus your attention on interior design it might not be the best thing to do it is possible though if you put your mind to it if you have good time management or maybe you don't but you want to work on it like i'm not saying don't do it because i say don't do it um i'm saying that you can do anything you set your mind to and just have that positive mindset so if you want to major in something else you can try to uh, i know girls in my program majored in like landscape or sustainability and it's possible it's definitely possible interior design Design is a lot of work people will drop out because it's a lot of work so really figure out what you want to do if you want to minor in anything it's possible don't not do it because I said don't do it but just think about like kind of what your schedule looks like like I worked while I was in school I also did stuff for my mom I also did um, you know YouTube and all of that and then also had like my internship that ran over from winter into the semester so i was doing a lot if you kind of plan on taking on a lot of things a minor might not be the greatest but it's doable people have done it so um if you're looking to you can okay that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it's helpful and good luck to anyone who is entering the program at virginia tech it's a great program i definitely got great experience from it great connections i got a job with the largest architecture firm in the world which i'm super excited about i just got really great experience from this program and i love it so much i would do it all over again love the professors all of that if you have any other questions leave them down below or message me on instagram i can also do a part two give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a part two and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe i do other videos i also did that other interior design video i will link down below but that is all i have for today so hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye